hey hey everyone and welcome in welcome back it's a monkey mar before we get into today's uh, video please make sure you click that subscribe uh, button the bell for notifications and of course the like let's get into Letitia evil stalks update and family tree part 12 and with that let's get into it Compensate evaluation during a court hearing stalk faces two counts of first degree murder child abuse resulting in death tampering with a deceased human body and tampering with physical evidence so then we've got Letitia Stalk declared competent to stand trial for Gannon Stalk's murder. Defense attorneys get second evaluation they requested. Letitia Stalk's accused of killing her 11-year-old son, stepson Gannon Stalk, has been found competent to stand trial. A judge in El Paso County agreed to a second competency evaluation during a court hearing on Tuesday. The Denver Post reports Letitia Stalk will undergo a second mental health evaluation at the request of her attorneys after a similar test by state experts just found her competent to stand trial on a murder abuse and tampering charges so the state has found her competent now the lawyers her lawyers will have a private person see if she's competent on their side to stand trial so Letitia evil will next appear in El Paso County District Court on November 12, 2020, where a judge is expected to review the results of the second exam. And I really hope that they find her competent as well, and this does not go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, let's dig into her family tree a little bit. And I guess with her, we're going to have to wait until November 12, 2020 to see what the judge is going to say. Okay, let's jump into Letitia Evil's family tree. And like I said in the last video, I am going to focus on Brenda Accard. I want to focus on Randy Allen Sampson. And so we've got Deborah Sue Locklear, Letitia Evil's mother. We've got her mother, Betty Lou Sampson, who passed away. We've got Betty Lou Sampson's mother, Betty Scott Sampson. She is attached to Tallahassee, Florida. And I might have told you guys, but I'll show you again. But then Brenda Quard, her going out to Colorado and helping Letitia come back, they've got a close connection. My little sense is telling me that it's something around here that Letitia knows someone in Florida. So I start looking into Brenda Accord's addresses and people that lived at the same address. And we are getting into Florida because now I have a connection to Lakeland, Florida, but I'm not sure the connection to Brenda Accord. Let me show you. I am going to be respectful and I'm going to leave the address out, but we have been on a road trip to her house before. So at this last address that she lived at, which was very close to Deborah Sue Locklear's, it's Brenda Acquard, a J.F. Sampson, a Kelvin D. Oxidine, a Dina H. Oxidine, and a Stephanie Cummins. Kelvin D. Oxidine and Dina H. Oxidine live in Lakeland, Florida. So here is Kelvin D. Oxidine, 52, in Lakeland, Florida. So we are going to, well, I am going to start looking through and find the connection from Kelvin, which it's probably not Kelvin with the last name of Oxidine. It's probably Dina H. Oxidine 49 of Lakeland, Florida. Okay, so I am going to go and look through who they are, how they're connected, and let's find out the connection out of Lakeland and if we can get closer to the Pensacola area. What happens is, is the last names are confusing because I'll show you. So the queen mother, grandmother, great, great, great grandmother is Ida Louise Lowry. This is the mother to 
Bessie Scott Sampson. Bessie Scott Sampson is the mother of Betty Lou, and Betty Lou is the mother of Deborah, and Deborah is the mother of Evil. She married a Chafin Sampson. Her sister, actually, it's probably the half sister. Well, no. Oh, that's right. Ida Louise Lowry was married to. Well, see, this is where I'm confused. John Scott passed away on December of 1947. Alex Chelsea Locklear passed away on, in October of 1954. So Ida Louise Lowry and John Scott have Ruby Viola, James Scott, Bessie Scott, CPL Leroy Scott, John L. Scott, Robert Scott, Billy Scott, and Earl Scott. But then I was lost because I'm trying to figure out this connection into Florida now. So I went back into Thomas B. Acquard's obituary. And he has a lot of brother-in-laws, but he... And a few brother-in-laws are missing. And what I mean is, when we come into Thomas Bryan Acquard's obituary... So he was preceded in death by his mother, Pat, and his brother-in-law, John L. Scott, and Jerry Scott. And I have to think a brother-in-law, if Brenda Acquard is a Samson, but she is his wife, which makes this the brother-in-laws, unless he has another sister that is not mentioned. The confusion comes in here. So basically, he was married to Brenda... He was a loving husband, son, brother, uncle, and friend. He was not a father. He is survived by his wife, Brenda, his brother-in-law, Eugene Scott, and wife, Peggy, of Lumberton, his sister-in-laws, Deborah Sue Locklear, Letitia Evil's mom, Juan Scott, Melissa Scott, and Helena Wilkins. So, the sister-in-laws with the names, this is where it's just completely confusing, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So, here is Thomas Accord. He was married to Brenda. He passed away. Brenda's mother is Ruby Viola Scott Sampson. Ruby Viola is sister is Bessie Scott. Bessie Scott is the grandmother to Deborah Locklear, Evil's mother. I know it's confusing. Stick with me. She is also married to a Chafin Samson. So we've got two sisters that married Samsons. So now, Ruby and James Fred Samson have Brenda Acquard. Deborah Lowry, who I haven't even figured out who she is, a Letitia Harding, and Willie Scott Chavis, I think, was raised by them. I have to look into that. Randy Allen is Bessie Scott and Chafin's son, but only mentioned as a son in one obituary. I can't find him. Horace J. Sampson is married to Ivani, and they... Horace is Bessie and Chafin's son. And then last but not least, they had Betty Lou Sampson. Are you staying with me? So if you go and wonder, how does he have a John L. Scott for a brother-in-law? Because the John L. Scott is on the next generation ups side. So then we have to figure out, this is a John L. Scott. Does he have a junior just brings us into here. So John L. Scott Jr., father John L. Scott, and mother Ida Louise. So this is definitely him. And we pop in to find the grave. And this is the junior. So this is... Scott was preceded in death by his parents, five brothers, 
James Scott, Robert Scott, Leroy Scott, Earl Scott, Billy Scott, three sisters, Miss Ruby Sampson, who is Brenda Accord's mother. These names are new. I do not know who Clara Mae Freeman is, and I do not know who Miss Fody Scott is. Surviving are his wife, Margaret Aiko, Kent Scott, four daughters, grandchildren, Christopher he raised, of Bennings, Georgia, and then Mr. Dwight Scott of Lumberton. And then we've got a Mr. Two Brothers, Woodrow Scott, he, that's a new name to me. Barney Scott is a new name to me. Bessie Sampson is Letitia Evil's great-grandma. And I do not know who Mabel Chavis is. This name is new to me. So let's do a little work and see if we can connect these dots and see the connection that brings us to the name connected into Florida. Okay, so this is a part of the family tree. And this is only Letitia Evil's mother's side of the tree. But we don't know. There may be some connections, you know, a couple cousins down. But this is the tree on her side so far. So what I've done is all of Bessie Scott's, Letitia Evil's great-grandmother and Brenda Acquard's mother, Ruby Viola, who are sisters, with lots of siblings. Like, this is all their siblings and their wives. So this second row, I'm dropping down their children, which would be Brenda Acquard's aunts and uncles to get into the brother-in-law to he, who he speaks of. And who is the Dina Oxidine who was living at her address who now is in Lakeland, Florida. Let me show you the connection with Bessie if I did not show you in the last video to Tallahassee and for you that do not know where Lakeland, Florida is let's have a look on the map. Okay, so Bessie Sampson who is the great great grandmother to Letitia Evil. Letitia Evil's mother Betty Lou this is her mom and she was in Tallahassee Florida we know that she was married at one time to Chavis he was in Jacksonville Florida and now we have two other members from the acquired household in Lakeland Florida and if you do not know the area like I said just probably a minute ago let's go ahead and check out the map that I have started okay so here is the map that we have so far so we've got Pace Florida where Gannon was found we've got her searching in the Pensacola area for apartments for rent not to mention a Los Angeles we've got the grandma Bessie used to live right about here. We've got Mr. Chavis Sampson living in Jacksonville. His son Randy Allen was in Jacksonville. Randy Allen I'm still looking for and who his kids are. And then we have the new one popped up in Lakeland, Florida. I'm still looking for Randy Allen Sampson and who Gregory Foster is junior is in their connection but I think we are getting closer I think so okay so I know it's a lot and this is why it's so far in between the videos with Letitia Evil's tree and it takes me a while but I know a lot of you like it I get emails I get the comments and actually I enjoy doing it this is Letitia Evil's family on her side. Letitia Evil's generation and I could just completely branch off. We got her mother's generation which have their own little branches. Let me zoom in and show you. We could go off to Stevie Dial's family. We can go off to James Lowry's family. Ivani Sam Samson's family. And then here we've got Chafin. So the one I'm interested in is right here. 
Randy Allen Sampson. If anyone knows who he is or has any idea, please drop me an email. I'd greatly appreciate it. And the other person I'm looking for is somebody who is living at Deborah Locklear's house. And I actually made a separate tree for him because I do not know the connection to him yet. This is a completely different tree. This is Gregory F. Locklear. And I'm looking for the junior. And he is right here. This is the one who is living at Letitia Evil's address. He's been there. He's there. He's somehow connected to Deborah or Donna. I'm not sure. But I'm going to dig because I am a nosy. So where does that leave us in the family tree? We have gained basically another generation besides Brenda Acquard's little group right here. All of this is new. And I am going to flip through the tabs at the very end of this video so you can see exactly how big this tree really is. All right, guys, and with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and subscribe. Have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world, and stay vigilant. I am out.